It's a hard life out here for all of us, though, man. For real. On the remote Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, these teenage descendants of Sioux warriors now band together, not against their tribe's old enemy, the U.S. Army, but against each other. It's, it's war. It's war out here in these streets, man, for real. Everybody fighting everybody. Everybody has a gun. Everybody wants to get a gun just because that guy has a gun. You know what I'm saying? And he has a gun, he might shoot me, so I might as well have some heat to protect myself so I can fire back. I'll place you under arrest, okay? Gangs are nothing new on this reservation, which lies in one of the poorest counties in the U.S. But the two dozen tribal policemen who struggle to keep the peace here say the gangs are getting more active and more violent. Compared to last year, we have close to a thousand more calls for service. Um, the gang-related incidences have increased almost twice. Authorities say most of the male inmates in the local jail are gang members, despite their denials. But on building walls, the gangs leave their calling cards for all to see. It's an isolated, lonely road. Eric Bringswhite, who spent 22 years in a local gang, says the motivation to join has not changed. You have acceptance, camaraderie. If you ain't in a gang, or what else do you have really here in this community? You know, there's, there's no resources here, there's no jobs. But Pine Ridge never seems to run short of one poisonous commodity. Alcohol is strictly forbidden on reservations, drinking punishable by jail time. And yet every afternoon you can see native men and women cross from the reservation over to the state of Nebraska to buy beer and liquor and drink plenty of it. Everybody, I could say about 85% of this Pine Ridge smoke bud or they're drinking, you know what I'm saying? Or else there's people's parents that are drinking. So it's just pretty much just one big infected sea, I put it like that. There you go. Some also believe alcoholic mothers here have bequeathed their children mental impairments that make their prospects even worse. You don't have good judgment skills, you don't have good reasoning skills, you're easily influenced, you're impulsive, um, and, and you don't retain information. So, so you don't have a chance from the very beginning. With the reservation offering them so little hope, some gang members seek salvation by joining the U.S. military. I uh, plan on going to the Marines after high school. Why do you want to go to the Marines? Because I uh, have a lot of opportunities if I go to the Marines. A lot of my family went to the Marines too. But others place their faith in reconnecting to the Sioux Nation's heritage and religion. Our ancestral beliefs, our culture is powerful and beautiful. And the reason why I say it's powerful is because it's what got our ancestors through some of the worst times in history. I keep that culture inside too, man. That's me. That's always going to be me. That's from me from the start, from my roots. Back to the native roots of a people whose survival skills are tested every day on the reservation. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, in South Dakota.